You might have scraped the ice off your car's windshield today. But for one of our viewers, Brian Donda from Donner's Grove, he had to scrape the inside of his front door. <laughs> So there are the results on the scraper there. That's how cold it is. It's actually seeping in from the outside. Mm, the <laughs> cold also causing serious slick spots for drivers. The Mobile Weather Lab is in northwest Indiana where we've seen many accidents. This is live look now on the roads. Our photographer is headed west on I-94 near Lake Station, Indiana. CBS 2's Chris Habermill tracking trouble on the roads all day today. Chris, a tough go for semis in particular with these high winds. It sure has not only high winds, but also uh, ice underneath the wheels and the blowing snow, bad visibility, unmanageable loads, and uh, you have a weight that you're dealing with and that can carry you into the wall. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it looked like earlier on I-65 as uh, we've had uh, uh, incidents aplenty here. This I-65 uh, right around uh, 61st Avenue getting up around Ridge Road. You can see that semi has uh, basically run straight smack into the wall. There's a Hoosier helper coming around the back there. And uh, that basically closed down just about everything as you can get only one vehicle by there at a time. Also, we're battling an incident over on uh, I-94, getting in uh, by Burns Harbor, getting in by Chesterton as well there uh, between those two points. Uh, this is a rolled over tanker. It's a bulk tanker truck. It's carrying sodium hydroxide. And what that stuff does, it's basically lye. It's used in the soap making process. And it basically takes the oils and the fats and binds them together and makes them lather up so you don't have a bar of fats and oils that doesn't do anything for you but it's corrosive so they got to get it out of there before they can upright that now it's dark and it's windy and the snow is blowing so we still have a section of i-94 blocked off let's go ahead and turn to the traffic map see how everybody is doing right now we're going to check out both sides of the line in the core expressways around chicago not so bad before we go into the Hoosier State, the northbound side of I-57 is blocked past Wilmington Piatone Road. Got a fresh jackknife right there. Both of the lanes are taken out. Now we're going to step out to the east, take a look at northwest Indiana. Here are the closures. Eastbound I-94 with that rolled over bulk tanker. Southbound I-65, another jackknife semi and multiple crashes there. And you can see that with I-94 blocked off, your best way to get around that is US-20, State Road 49. Also, that southbound uh, side of I-65 is going to stay closed through the rest of the evening, so you're going to have to route around that, too. So big doings in northwest Indiana. And just in, I-94, Michigan State Police just tweeted this out a few minutes ago. I-94 between Berrien and Calhoun counties on the uh, southeastern edge of the lake has reopened, but conditions are still poor. I wouldn't mm. go there if I were you. Joan, Erica, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you. Professor Habermill, <laughs> where else are you going to learn about the traffic and soap? Right here.